at the highest level, especially like how many guys actually are feeling comfortable on two feet anymore? Like, are there still a lot of guys that are, you know, especially with nobody on base, like very, very rare. Um, and obviously with runners on, we see it more, but, uh, where, how much of like, give me like a percentage of like how much that is even in play anymore. I would say like 25% of guys and yeah. I working with a minor league guy the other day and, he was saying that his org wanted him to go on two feet. And he's like, I'm lost. Because I haven't had to deal with this instability in so long. And it was just, and we find such a stable point with the knee down, connected to the ground. How all of a sudden we're on two feet and we've got all these options where we can move. And guys are ducking heads and dropping knees as they're catching. It makes it really hard. Um, and I think that percentage will honestly continue to go down unless we start to see automatic strike zone where it doesn't matter how we look when we catch, but that's a whole different mm. conversation. Yeah. Well, we're still hoping that doesn't happen. Fingers crossed. <laughs> honestly, it's crazy because, and I have, you know, broken record on this podcast, talked about it a lot, but it's just the idea of like, it's just not that big of a problem. You know, it's one of those things that again, like, I guess if we go to like the replay system, I don't hate that where it's like, okay, just give, you know, each team a couple replays, a challenge Mm -hmm. system, you know, like, okay. But it's like, dude, these umpires are really, really good, man. Like they're really good. It's crazy. Yeah. I tell you, you want some fan engagement. That's a big part, you know, cut down game times, put the, uh, put the track man up on the, up on the jumbotron and replay (laughs) the pitch. I bet you there'll be some engaged fans. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. And, you just, know, tennis has it. Tennis puts it up boo there. Him. And yeah. then boo in the umpire the whole time. And, yeah. No, that's a good point. The tennis one's great. That's a great idea. Like, that would be actually super cool. Like, you do a, a, re- a challenge. Yeah. How do they even yeah. do that in tennis? It's a great question. I don't know. Like, but they got, like, sensors on the ground and stuff? Or is it just all video? I want to say it's a very similar technology to what professional baseball has in Hawkeye. Pretty sure that's where Hawkeye came from was tennis. And it's like a system of cameras that's capturing basically every movement that happens on the court or field. Um, that one, I mean, it's, that it's not one, wrong. That yeah. one's insane. Cause you know, like the ball, like in tennis, it like compresses too. So it's like, it, like the ball, like is like a bigger mark on the ground than it actually hits. So I'm like, that one seems impossible to judge if it hit the line or didn't. It's yeah, insane. some of these shots are over 100 miles an hour. Yeah. So if we can do that, then, I mean, the technology is already there to do the strike zone because they've done it in the lower levels of minor leagues. Um, just let them challenge it. And then now there's still some receiving in there, and it adds another layer of strategy. And again, like – there's also just when you're talking about wanting something to uh, be attractive to the fans, like there's there's a huge issue with the like the couple of clips that you see that were like in AAA or I think it might have been like in the Atlantic League when they first started there, where it's like a guy just like catches a ball like this and then like wait a second and the umpire's like strike three and you're like no like that's just that that's not to me and again I'm a catching nerd so I'm on that side but it's like just the idea of like. Do people really are people really going to be okay with that? Like it just doesn't seem like that would be okay even to a casual fan. Yeah, I agree, and they've also done some stuff to improve that system. Um, but I think human error is part of the game. It has been since since when it paint like when it since existence. So why not? Like yeah, players make errors all the time. Pitchers make bad pitches. Hitters strike out, and now we want to crucify the umpire because he misses three pitches a game yeah wow. and now you're losing a whole arc of what people's careers are built off of and a passion a lot of people share and now it's just gone well and the uh again like they literally do miss like three a game you know they're like it's like 95 percent overall like you know that that they get it mm-hmm. right and it's getting better. I think that's the part that's like annoying is like we've, they've actually done a great job of being like, Hey, we're going to grade you guys. 
you know, you're going to know your score. You're going to know how well you did. So they care about how good they do. It's not the, the old school, like this is my zone. And you know, when this guy's up, it's a different zone and like whatever. And they're getting younger, you know, last year, like 10 empires retired. So like everybody's getting younger. You don't have these just like old heads that just like are been grandfathered into these kind of mm-hmm. stupid situations. It's like, it's getting better and better. So like in, in three, four more years, as it continues to get younger and, and more guys continue to retire out and, and guys are trained in this way, dude, I think we're going to be literally at like 98% of like strikes are going to be right based on just the training and everything that they're doing at that level. Yeah. There's an account. Twitter, it's like umpire audit or umpire bible something like that There's all umpire scorecards yes thank you thank yes you. yeah it's like great one it shows you where where it was missed and the run value of that pitch. like you are like 0.01 run value towards one team or another and i think the biggest one that yeah. i saw was 0.3 point 0.4 come on these guys are pretty good yeah i still yell at them but they're really they're good, good. <laughs> well you just got to make sure you keep them in check a little bit too right oh yeah. oh yeah if you enjoyed that be sure to like and subscribe we'll have a new episode for you every single tuesday here on our youtube channel and wherever you listen to podcasts